Hey guys and welcome back to episode 92 of our Glory Hunter career mode here on FIFA 23. Returning again today with Nottingham Forest, of course our new team here as we've moved back to England. Of course the trophy we are after is the FA Cup but that won't start until the turn of the year so our focus on the Premier League for now and I'd love to win a domestic double in our last season of the save. We started off with a victory victory in match day one and we're hoping to kick on today as we will close out august including deadline day and potentially sneak in a couple of games at the beginning of september as well starting off today with our first trip we're away at the emirates so let's see how we get on and if we continue our good start with nottingham forest really liking this nottingham forest i think it's the third kit rather than the actual away kit i may be wrong but really liking this kit but um, as I mentioned um, before the game, we'd uh, we'd love to close out the entire series. It is now with a, um, a domestic double, and it would be back-to-back -back domestic doubles in different countries as well if we can pull it off. So, yeah, although we don't need to win the Premier League this year, I would absolutely love to win it. Yeah, I'd, I would absolutely love to win the Premier League this year alongside the FA Cup. And make it a domestic double of course if you didn't see the previous episode uh, we did our summer transfer window or the bulk of it anyway and also set up our new tactic that we're using here at nottingham forest so i definitely go and check that out as it's something a little bit special as taylor let's fly from range and we win our first corner of the game and still arsenal coming forward ball inside and that's a great opportunity and a big save by Mendes to deny Moyes Keane. Well, the first half has been and gone. Not really too much to report. Uh, we had that long-range effort from Kenneth Taylor and Moyes Keane went close for Arsenal. But other than that, nothing too much to report. Here goes Taylor looking for Kerry Amy, who just went a little bit too early. Into Joseph. Can he get away from David Carmo? He's done well there, Joseph. Needs some support though. Finds it in Kvarat Skellia. We've got a man over here. It's Karim Adeyemi who opens the scoring and scores for the second match day in a row. Karim Adeyemi gets us off the mark here at the Emirates. And I tell you what, I'm really liking this new system that we're using. I know we shipped a few um, at the City ground against Liverpool late on, but really liking the new system as we look to get Brennan Johnson in there. And David Carmo just does enough. It's, it's really good defensively in, in the shape that we're holding. Really liking that. And here's Joseph. Gets away from Marcao. Joseph. It's two. And Arsenal have capitulated. Austin Bryan does brilliantly. And now Joseph. Can he send Brennan? Did he avoid the offside trap? He did. Marcao trying to catch up, but he won't. Brennan Johnson hits the post. And the captain won't have his first of the year. Probably should have scored away, or sorry, at home to Liverpool in the previous one and should have notched up there. Now Arsenal looking to get one back down the other end and Mendes again. Now Kenneth Taylor can bring it away. Varat Skellia. Oh, he's gone all the way, has he? Kvara has Joseph in support, squares it to him. And Joseph gets his second. It's five in two for Joseph. What a signing he has been. Just seeing the game out here. Joseph into Austin. Austin Bryan into the penalty area. Drills it across. And Morgan Gibbs-White is there to score his first goal of the season. Off the bench. And in stoppage time, it seals the victory. What a performance away at the Emirates. And Nottingham Forest have four for the second game in a row. And even better than that, this time we're going to keep a clean sheet as well. Mendes with a couple of big saves in there as well. Deserving of the clean sheet. What a start to the season for this Nottingham Forest side. All right, guys. Slight little change of pace here as we take on Watford in the EFL Cup. We've made a lot of changes to the lineup for this one. 
Not really too fast if we go out, um, as I'm going to play a rotated side in every round, no matter who we play. But if we do make it uh, relatively far in the competition, we might start taking it a little bit more seriously. But especially in these early rounds, we're going to be heavily, heavily rotated. Now, Neves replaced this season by Kenneth Taylor into Morgan Gibbs-White. Waiting for, su for some support. Here comes Leslie. Back to Gibbs White. Morgan Gibbs White. That's a fantastic strike into the roof of the net. And MGW makes it two and two. Scored late on at the Emirates and gets the opener here. Brilliant strike from Gibbs White. Or oh, Stanisic has lost that in a dangerous position. Watford looking to strike back here, and they have. Just before the break, Stanisic gives the ball away in a dangerous, dangerous position. And it's Espria who forced a save out of Mendy earlier on, who pulls the away side level. 1-1 just about to head into the break. Ravella does well. Can we find a winning goal? Salcedo, great chance straight at the keeper. And there is the whistle. I believe we're heading straight to a penalty shootout as we were unable to find that second goal. Salcedo will be first up. Had a great chance to score at the end of the 90 and scores his penalty. Sends Figueroa the wrong way. Now Ribeiro sends Mendy the wrong way. 1-1. Brennan Johnson, the captain. Brennan. Brilliant penalty, 2-1. And now Marquinhos will take and sends Mendy the wrong way again. Leslie. Oh, it's a good save by Figueroa. And KMB now sends Mendy the wrong way. And we could be in trouble here. Luis Diaz. Diaz, much better. Same way as Leslie, but different result. Reynolds now. Mendy has to save one, and Reynolds sends him the wrong way. If Figueroa saves this, Watford are through. Ravella sends the keeper the wrong way. We still need a penalty save from Mendy, though. Hungbo. Saved by Mendy. He keeps us alive as Schlager now. Javi Schlager, good penalty. And now Mendy needs to save from Bamba. Ah, it's a good pen and we still go on here at the city ground. Morgan Gibbs White now. Scores. And Mendy again can be the hero. Catterback. Down the middle. <laughs> Six apiece. Ziegler. Good pen. 7-6. Still we go on. Pollock. Surely Mendy will save one. He does. And we will be into the next round of the Carabao Cup. 7-6 on penalties. And Nottingham Forest are through. Well, I'm not normally too fussed about the Carabao Cup, but it's quite exciting having a penalty shootout. Pollock, the captain, sees his penalty saved. And Nottingham Forest will head into, I think it's the second or third round of the cup. We'll find out in just a moment's time. So that penalty win will see us go into the third round of the Carabao Cup. Draw's not been made yet, as there's still one more game to play. But this is like a little warm-up for when the big time, the FA Cup, comes around. So yeah, into the hat for the third round. And uh, back to matters in the Premier League now, as we take on Manchester City once again at the City ground. So then, here we are, Manchester City. I'm assuming they'll be competing with us for the league this year. Got a very, very good squad and still Erling Haaland remains up front. They've got loads of uh, regens in their team who all look very, very decent. So we are 100% so far in all competitions and of course, including the Premier League. Can we continue that on today? Now we look to come forward, Taylor into Kvaratskelia coming in off that left hand side and hitting the post oh and what a finish that is by Carrie Maddie Amy the green beam into the net 
Here's Kefren. Joseph's on the run. He picks him out. Joseph bags again. This man knows how to find the back of the net. Joseph Lay makes it too. And he also, like Kareem, has scored in all three of our opening games. Kefren will swing it into the back post. Looking for Pau Torres. Oh, Pau Torres is back. We love this man. The king of set pieces. Pau Torres gets his head on it. Loops it over Edison. And it could be game over before we reach half time. Brilliant ball in by Kefren. And Pau Torres rises highest and heads over Edison. 3-0, three points in the bag. Oh, brilliant from Austin. Now Kareem brings it away. He's left Saliba in the dust. Still Kareem Adeyemi. It's four. We are running riot here at the city ground. We want that domestic double this year. And the way we're going, it's going to be tough to stop us. Uh, Kareem Adeyemi just leaves William Saliba in the dust. Bends it home past Edison. And we've got four before the break. Brilliant football this by Forrest and Brennan releases Kefren back to Brennan who will get his first of the season. The captain Brennan Johnson makes it five. City are getting put to the sword here. I'm a big fan of Brennan Johnson in uh, in real life. He's actually been um, in the last couple of days linked with a move to Chelsea. I'm not sure that would be the best move for him or the club. Oh, another bad tackle there by Kalulu. But big fan of his in real life. I think he needs to work on his kind of final end product when he gets in front of goal. Quite often he looks to shoot when there might be a better option um, to pass. But if he, that's something that can definitely be worked on in, on the training ground. And if he can get slightly more uh, decisive in front of goal, he could turn into a real, real threat. And yeah, real big fan of his direct, quick... And he's making an impact here for the first time. Carry Amy for six. What is happening to Man City here? Six nil. Amy again. Harland, Foden. Keep the clean sheet. Good save by Mendes. He's done well when he's been called upon so far this season, Mendes. Zoboslai plays the corner short to Almada. I'd love to keep the clean sheet for Mendes today. Shot is blocked. Shot comes in and Mendes again. He's having to make some saves here and work for this clean sheet. Zobos lies corner. Cleared at the near post. Oh, given away. What a save, Mendes. And Pau Torres from on the floor gets it clear. As we enter the 90th minute, can we hold on to the clean sheet? Diaz should send it clear. And now Adiemi, we're looking to make it seven. What a counter-attack. Kefren Turan has Morgan Gibbs-White in support. And our number eight will make it seven. What a counter-attack. And another clean sheet for Mendes. Two in three to start off the season. Adiemi with the hat-trick in a 7-0 victory. What a statement that is. All right then, guys, here we are on transfer deadline day. It's been a brilliant start to the season, but there is one more player I would like to bring in. You may see the links to him on the uh, in the middle of the screen there. It's Arnout Kalimuendo. And as good as we were in front of goal in that last game, we really struggled in the cup game against Watford with uh, Correa and then Salcedo coming on. I think we really need someone who can step in, especially if Joseph goes down. We're going to have no real depth in the striking position. So Kalimuendo is the man that I want bit of a resemblance to Joseph, that low centre of gravity, quick, can run in behind. So he offers us something different to what we've got in Salcedo and Correa. So I'm looking to strike a deal with Cagliari to bring him in. But we are running on a very tight budget here. Hopefully we'll be able to get it across the line. All right then, guys, we've got our man. He is in the building. Arnout Calimuendo. 
as I mentioned just a moment ago, he gives a little bit more of a resemblance to Jonathan uh, Lay in the way that he plays. So happy to bring him in. Pretty good deal for him as well. £32 million, 50 grand a week, three-year deal. As I mentioned, has that pace to play in behind. Really good on the ball, low centre of gravity and a good finisher as well. So I think coming off the bench and in games where Joseph doesn't start, he's a much better option than what we currently had. And to add to the players we've already brought in, I think we've done brilliantly so far in this window. Well, three hours left on the clock, guys, and a big deal has just gone through on the right-hand side there. Our former baller at RC Lons, Leon Clerk, is following us to the Premier League as he joins up with Arsenal. He was brilliant for us during our time in France, and he's come to England to try and stop us winning this domestic double. All right, guys, we've got an hour left on the clock, and we have decided to bring in a young teenage midfielder, Theo Walter. You know I love my teenage ages no way that sounds weird theo walter is in it's a four-year deal for the 19 year old looks like a pretty decent midfielder cm and cdm listed positions and um, clubs are always doing this in real life planning for the future and bringing in these youngsters so guys here you can see the full breakdown of all the transfers at the club this summer obviously we sold Koza and Ugrinic the only two players to leave both in their early 30s so happy to shift them on we got a decent amount of money for them brought in a couple of free agents of course uh, Joseph and Ben Chilwell will be starters in the team Walter is one for the future and Diaz and Mendy provide great experience and depth to the rest of the team obviously Diallo came in for a straight swap deal for Octavian Popescu and then we brought in uh, Paul Torres and Kenneth Taylor for pretty big fees as well whilst Cali Muendo joined on deadline day so yeah this is our squad until we get to January we don't have a lot of money left over so it will probably be our squad until the end of the season but I'm really happy with our summer dealing so far it's time to kick on on what has been a brilliant start in the premier league and get this domestic double one in what could potentially be the final season in the save there's been a pretty perfect start to the premier league season here with nottingham forest three wins from three 15 goals scored and just the three conceded as well ourselves and newcastle who we play up next the only teams with a 100% record. So I think we'll finish off with Crystal Palace away at Selhurst before taking on the Geordies in what could be an early title clash. So let's jump into this one. Away at Selhurst, always a tricky game against the Eagles. Here's Kvara looking to get Adeyemi away. Joseph is on the run and he can get away from Caio Enrique here. Joseph bends it home on the counter from uh, Crystal Palace's corner. And it's those two again. Karim Adeyemi into Joseph and just playing slightly to that right-hand side of our front three. Both of them left-footed, cutting in onto their stronger left foot. And it's just it's working wonders at the moment. Call me a managerial masterclass because this new system is working wonders. Here's Karim Adeyemi again. Brennan Johnson ghosting into the middle. Johnson, it's two. Brennan has his second of the year. And now Palace looking to get back into things down the other end. It's a great ball in. Mendes hasn't got there. And we've done well with clean sheets to start this season off, but we're not going to get one here. Tavares slams home at the back post as Mendes got a little bit lost in his penalty area there. Brennan. Brilliant from him. Looks for Kefren. Turam, 3-1. Palace might have got back into it, but it doesn't last long as Kefren Turam scores his first for the club. Or maybe not first for the club, actually. He was here, here, here last year. I didn't sign him, but first of the season, at least. Easy finish for him once he got through on goal. And we're just slicing teams open at the moment. We look like we're going to score every single time we come forward. Well, Newcastle lead at the break as well. Currently playing at Manchester United at St. James's Park. So as it stands, we will be going into that game with both teams having won all of their opening four games. Could be a big clash at the top. 
but I fancy us to score goals as Joseph's in behind again and it's a brilliant finish. Is that two for Joseph? I think it may well be. Yes, he got the first and now the fourth. Potentially on for another hat-trick. And, well, he's got big shoes to fill in the footsteps of Tammy Abraham, Victor Osimen, Lois Openda, and Joseph Lay could be adding to that list of quality goal scorers we've had in this save. Joseph, loads of space. For Luis Diaz. Diaz gets his first for the club. That is a brilliant finish into the roof of the net. So much space for the Colombian. And he hit the bar in the last one against Manchester City. But this time keeps it under the crossbar. Bends it past Luis Maximiano. Into the roof of the net. And we've hit five once again. The break could be on. Neves into Luis Diaz. We're so fluid. And I see Carrie Mariemi at the back stick. So much time and space for him to bring the ball down. And Nottingham Forest have six. The, the fewest we've scored in a game this so far this season in the league is four goals. Chilwell down the left. Looks for Joseph. What a ball. Can he get the hat-trick this time? Joseph! Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he's only got himself to blame for not getting a hat-trick today. It's a brace, though. And Forrest hits six again. Well, Newcastle did also win their game at home to Manchester United. We will now host them. Both of us, four wins from four. And you know, the one thing we've not done throughout this save at all is have an unbeaten season. We nearly did it in season one with Atleti until we lost on the final day of the season with a rotated team. It'd be a brilliant achievement to make in this final season. Obviously, no European football, so... We're going to be able to go full strength in pretty much every single league game. I'd love to really give it a go, try and keep our run going and see if we can remain unbeaten. Could we potentially replicate Arsenal's Invincibles? No one's been able to do it since. Will it be Nottingham Forest? We've got a really tough test now against Newcastle. It's first v second. Both teams, four from four. Let's get it. Great way to end off the episode. Here we are then. It's the clash of the top two. I'd really love to keep our winning streak going here. But I would take a point against the team that are closest to us in the league. With the amount of goals that we're scoring, though, I think we can go on and win it. And we're looking to create our first opportunity of the game here with Chilwell. Down the left, finds Brennan. Now it's Kefren. Adiemi, was he onside? No, he bends it home. It's a brilliant finish. But he just strayed offside in the build-up. Again, though, it's all one-way traffic so far. Brennan into Joseph. Oh, got, got the strike all wrong. Maybe had time for a touch, but the form he's been in, I expect him to hit the target from there. And we're a little bit short of the back here. Elliot Anderson hits it from range and Mendes forced into his first save of the game. Newcastle just starting to grow into things here. Brian Hill plays it short to a familiar face. It's David Costa who does really well to swing the ball in and Newcastle lead. It was Bubakar Camera who got the header but... It was David Costa who absolutely skinned me down in the corner. I'm not sure who it was that he beat. Absolutely sent him. Addy Amy looking to create our first chance of the second half. And that, that will be a penalty. And David Costa has gone from hero to zero here. Our former player creates the goal just before the break and then brings down Carry Maddy Amy inside the penalty area. Definite penalty. And Karim will be the man to step up. Against Robert Sanchez. Adi Amy sends him the wrong way. Brilliant pen. Nottingham Forest back on level terms. Adi Amy finds Joseph. Been quiet today. Brennan. Joseph again. Looks for his buddy Karim Adi Amy. Into the penalty area. Kefren! 2-1 to Forest. That's an important goal, and Kefren Turam, two in two for the box-to-box -box midfielder. Now Galino, our oh, brilliant feet. Oh, and they had men across, and it's intercepted well. 
and now Kefren can send Joseph away. Been dragged a little bit wider. Joseph round it rounds the keeper. <laughs> what was he doing? Didn't shoot and could have sealed the game. And now Torres doesn't win it off Galino. Oh, and Brian's missed it as well. Still Galino. And cleared away. Not fully though. No! Oh, we bottled it. Chance up one end. And I don't know why. I had this issue before. I can't remember the exact moment. But I had an issue before. It might have been when we were at Leverkusen where we had an open goal. And I press shoot and nothing happened. And the same thing there. And then Newcastle go down the other end and equalise. Two minutes added on. Can we create something late? Johnson loses out. And that should be full time. And there is the whistle. Late equaliser from Galeno for Newcastle. And these two sides both had 100% records at the start of play. And they both remain unbeaten. It's a 2-2 draw and a thriller at the city ground. We should have killed it off, though, with that chance for Joseph. That was a cracker of a game, though. Really enjoyable. And it finishes all square, 2-2 at the city ground. All right, then, guys. That is where we will end this episode of Glory Hunt. You can see it's still ourselves and Newcastle out at the top. The only unbeaten teams. What a start it has been for Nottingham Forest. We've uh, we've also been drawn against Crystal Palace, so we'll be facing the Eagles once again in the Carabao Cup. That will come in the next episode, where we'll be giving a debut to new signing Arnout Kali Muendo. So looking forward to that, and uh, we'll crack on with some more games in the Premier League. Hope to catch you for that very soon, guys, and peace.